The first step in preparing an item like this is to find some useless but uh, interesting information on the subject. With this item, we hit the mother load. A single whisker grows 15 one thousandths of an inch per day. That's uh, five and a half inches a year and 27 feet during an average lifetime. The average male starts shaving when he's 15 and continues on to the average of 5.5 times a week until he dies at the average age of 75. That's uh, 17,160 shaves by my math. The beard covers about one third of a square foot and contains 15,500 hairs, or 130,000 hairs, depending on whose amazing facts you read. If the facial hair grown each day by American men were stretched end to end, it would reach to the moon and back every day. Rolled into a ball, that would weigh 25,000 pounds. Ancient Egyptians, they scraped themselves with sharpened oyster shells to shave, and Roman legionnaires ground off their whiskers with pumice. No wonder they were always in a bad mood. So there, pick your own intro, and if you don't like it, I'll give you your money back. Now, even though the electric shaver companies show animation of their product's interaction with your whiskers, they're still studying these machines with high-speed photography to see exactly what goes on. All electric shavers use a bunch of tiny blades moving rapidly underneath a thin piece of metal with holes in it. And as the whiskers poke through the holes, the rapidly moving blades cut them off. The design of the blades and the piece of metal with the holes is important, you see, because the blade, no matter how sharp it is, won't cut a whisker on its own. Moving those blades can be a simple proposition. This is the world's most simple motor. It's an electromagnet. And a sprung piece of metal. When this is connected to 60 cycle alternating current, it oscillates back and forth rapidly. This unit's still found in some shavers, but it needs to be connected to a source of 60 cycle power to work. So shavers with this mechanism have a cord, because they need alternating current from the wall plug to work. Shavers with this mechanism don't need a cord. It's a DC motor. I made it myself. The DC motor relies on the fact that an electromagnet will reverse its poles, north and south, when the current flow is reversed. Here are a couple permanent magnets and an electromagnet. With one polarity, they attract in one direction. And with the other polarity, they attract in the other direction. The DC motor automates this process. Uh, the electromagnets are mounted on a shaft, and connected by contacts that brush against the contacts on the shaft. Everything's arranged so that when power is applied, the magnets on the shaft push away from the permanent magnets. The shaft starts to rotate. Now, the shaft would just rotate halfway around until the magnets were facing the poles they were attracted to, except for the arrangement of the brush contacts. Just when the magnets are happy, the contacts have reversed the current flow to the electromagnets around another half turn, by which time the contacts have reversed the current again. Now, if I did everything right when I built this, it should spin. Come on, baby. So there, the uh, real DC motor uses more than one pair of rotating magnets, but the idea is the same. The DC motor in this shaver rotates three sets of blades by some gears. The one in this shaver uses a crank to create side-to-side -side motion. Well, there's the motor. What's all this other stuff? These are the cells that power the shaver. They're rechargeable. Good thing, too, because they're soldered in place. The electronics will take different forms in different shavers. All cordless rechargeable shavers use nickel cadmium batteries. And they're the same as the ones you can buy for the kids' toys or your Walkman. Nickel cadmium cells have to be recharged properly or they get destroyed. And the basic rule of thumb is to charge them at one-tenth the current that they can supply. There's a corollary to that. They take ten times longer to charge than they last. As a matter of fact, they're perfect for use in a thing like a shaver. Interesting quirk of nickel cadmium batteries is, is their memory. If you use them for five minutes and then recharge them and repeat that cycle every day, they'll eventually develop a life of five minutes. So the best treatment for NICADs is to run them almost dead, then recharge them. The electronics in there takes care of all the proper charging rates. And some models can be used with a cord if the batteries are dead. In that case, the electronics have to be able to provide enough current to run the motor without cooking the NICADs. Science marches on, huh? During my research for this item, I switched from scraping myself with an oyster shell to shaving with one of these.
You've come a long way since the last time I tried one. I wonder if the company's for sale. Thank you.